Okay, so in this video, we're gonna be comparing the RTX 3090 and the 3060 when it comes to the DaVinci Resolve exporting speed. So I have here with me is a couple of shots that I took with my Blackmagic Ursa Mini Pro 12K. So these are 12K resolution. And what I'm gonna do now is change this to 8K right here, DCI and pretty much see how the GPUs do. All right, so we are here now. I set that to 8K and let's press play. And as you can see, this is the magic of B-Raw right here. I mean, 3090 at 24 frames per second and full 8K raw, that is just amazing. Okay, so yeah, definitely miss those days. Also have a couple of shots of candy here. So I have these and basically what we're gonna do is we're going to stress test a little bit as far as exporting to compare to speed because whenever I'm doing Unreal stuff, I'm also doing DaVinci Resolve stuff. Now I've been using Resolve since 2013 when Blackmagic Cinema Camera first came out and I've never used anything else to be honest. I'm actually thinking about canceling my Adobe subscription because I don't really need anything there anymore. Uh, anyways, so what we'll do is I'm going to decrease the speed of this clip right here to say like maybe 50%. And I'm gonna do the same thing here with candy shot here. Oh, sorry, not that one. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing, clip speed. And we'll do like 50. And same thing here at 50. So 50% on these, and here's the metadata. So you, you know, it's a um, 12K right here. Look at that, ooh, beautiful. So I'm gonna save this. So we have this slowed down now. But what I'm going to do now is I'll go to the inspector here and we're going to use some GPU settings. So I'm going to go down and I'm going to go to retime and scaling. I'm going to change this to optical flow and motion estimation speed warp. Now, as far as I know, speed warp is only available for the studio version of Resolve. So if you don't have it, that's why. Now, I'm not going to play back because what I really want to know is how fast this is going to export. And again, 3090, 12K. All right, so we're gonna do a MP4 H265, which is GPU. This is GPU right here. It's gonna render in GPU. Custom 8K best. I'm gonna leave everything, VBR, high quality, all that stuff. Audio. I'm gonna leave everything by default. So let's do add render queue and let's see how long this takes. Holy crap, three hours. And I'm gonna do a control shift escape so we can kind of see that the GPU right now is legit crying for help. 98. 100 usage. Holy crap. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is shrink this because that's like an hour. Okay, so I'm going to just take a short, shorter clip right here and I'm going to shrink it to, let's do five seconds. How long it's gonna take to render five seconds of 12K and um, I guess we can slap something in here and we'll just go with, um, oop, that's all. Video just like that. I'm gonna save it and let's try this again. Five seconds at 8K with optical flow and uh, speed warp. Good riddance, RTX 3090. Good riddance. All right, so here we go. Okay, it looks like the render finished at two minutes and 44 seconds. So I'm gonna save this project and let's see if we can play it back at 8K here just for the sake of it. Loading. So I'm getting like one frames per second, which is not really good for anything. So let's shrink it down to a 4K DCI and maybe that'll help a little bit. All right, so this is 4K DCI. This is what optical flow and speed warp, by the way. Okay. Come on now. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. You okay, it's not doing it. Oh there it is. Okay, so hang on. Okay, here. All right, so we're getting about four, 4.5 frames per second at 4K DCI with optical flow and speed warp. So yeah, let's go ahead and hop into the RTX 3060.
so it's time for the 3060s performance in the Vinci Resolve 17 studio. So we have the same exact clip here. Uh, I think I have it set at 4K. Let's do 8K because we started with the RTX 3090 with 8K. And yeah, let's just wait for it to pop up. And it looks like it's having issues. So what I'm going to do is actually turn this off for now. And let's see if we can even get 8K up on a 3060 without the optical flow and speed warp. Okay, so we actually crashed there. So I'm going to go back in here, uh, do 8K again. And I turned off optical flow speed warp. Okay, so let's see if we can play this, okay? All right, it can play at a 24 frames per second. That's cool. That's cool. So it, it is choppy because remember, I reduced the uh, speed by 50%. All right, so hang on. This is okay. So there you go. So it can uh, play back 8K for sure. And what I'm going to do is let's just do 100 for now. And then I'm going to drop this down to 4K DCI and then press play. Okay. All right. 3060 can handle B raw 12K from the um 12K in 4K. So that's good. So let's do the same thing with the RTX 3090. I'm going to bump it to 8K. I'm going to change the speed to 50. Okay. And then retime scaling, optical flow, and speed warp and 8K. I'm going to save. Go to deliver. And I'm going to do 3060, 12K. I'm going to leave everything by default. And let's see how long this takes to render. Okay. I just waited for like a minute and it's not doing anything. So let me stop. All right, so we crashed again. So I'm gonna turn off retime scaling and I'm gonna bring this back to 100%. And we're just gonna try and see if we can render 8K. And I'm gonna do the same thing for the 3090 because it looks like with the optical flow and speed warp that the 3060 just was not able to handle that. So let's go here and I'm gonna save this here and overwrite this even though it's broke. Let me go ahead and add to render and see what we can do for a five second clip. I mean, this should work rendering 8K regular. Okay then, so it's not working, so let's look at the edit page, make sure we don't have anything, yeah, this is already off, I mean we can play this back, 24 frames per second, kind of, no like 5, but we're still in 8k right, yeah, so let's go do that again. Holy crap, I guess you can't play it back regular. So let me um let me delete all the render cache real quick. Play it again. Alright, so it can't even play 8K. Alright, that's weird. Let's drop it to 4K. Okay, 4K is good. Alright. So 4K plays back good, and I'm pretty sure we can render this. So it looks like the RTX 3060 is not really good for 8K work. So if you're wondering about that, well, there's your answer. But 4K, we should be able to do this. This looked like it rendered in 9 seconds. Bottom line, 8K and up. I don't know about it. Uh, obviously with optical and speed warp with a 360, uh, definitely not doable, even 8K or 4K on uh, exporting it. So, yeah. <laughs>